Ectodermal dysplasia is a genetic condition that affects my hands, feet, and teeth. It does halt the development of my fingers and in my toes, so I do look a little different. Classically, it's known as lobster claw syndrome, but also through abnormalities of the teeth and of the hair. I was born this way, um, even though, you know, some, when I was young, I did tell people that I was in a shark accident to help the, to stop the questions. But it has, yeah, it, it's made things difficult. I play soccer, I'm in my church choir, I do everything that anyone else does. And so I don't think that my condition has really affected me where I can do everything anyone else can do. I had a story to tell and that it would affect other people and that people can relate to what I have to say. So that's what really inspired me to write the book. The story is based on me. When I was in first grade, I didn't really like the questions that the kids were asking, so I wrote a first day speech that I spoke on the first day of school to give it, the kids a chance to ask me questions to get, that, to get it all out in the open so that they can get a good look at me and get over it. I think so many children can relate their own difference up till then so they can relate to those feelings of anxiety and meeting new kids. Um, the anxiety of having to answer a lot of questions, the anxiety of wondering, you know, what's the school year going to be like? You know, are they going to like me? Am I ever going to have a partner? Is my teacher going to be nice? So I think it, it speaks to so many. Surprise! When I walked in, I saw the books there and I was really excited when Dr. Wu explained to me that it was for the Healthy 100. I, I couldn't believe it. It was so amazing. More people will get to read my book, this message will be able to spread like even more than I thought. That was a very good concrete demonstration of what Healthy Old Hunter means in terms of demonstrating to people that even with uh, perhaps not the best start, uh, you can make the best out of things and you still live a healthy life. The message that I really want to get out to the, um, with this book, I really want the message to be uh, to embrace your difference. Um, I just think that, you know, that's what people should do because everyone's different, you just have to embrace it.